A lot of people ask me, why do you pause so long? <laughs> or what are you doing during those times when you're not talking to the camera? And it triggers a lot of people. <laughs> and by trigger, I just mean it brings up discomfort. It brings up like a, mm, oh, what is that? Why are you doing that? And the answer to that, why, is it's like when I try to search for an answer, there isn't really one to find. Why do I do that? I don't know. Anything that I do is just what's literally driven by the moment. Like when I'm looking into the camera, I just start to feel good in my body. And so I just enjoy those feelings as I'm looking into it. Like I'm doing right now. And it's as simple as that. Oh, no agenda. I'm not trying to accomplish anything. Here come my buddies back from the store. So yeah. Just doing my thing. What's up, guys? Ah, oh, I love you. Thank you. Uh, my buddy Max just brought back my favorite drink which is this mango flavored green tea oh it's so good if you haven't tried it I invite you to try so so what are we talking about today love those guys bros so let's see there's a theme here I'm just letting it come up So what's coming to me is about your freedom. I'm giving you the right, if you don't know that you have it, to take hold of your own freedom. So yes, I have the right to be free. I have the right to be free. It's like that's what our constitution speaks to of, you know, each individual is granted. Imagine these are a group of guys who came together and they're trying to say like, hey, here's what we're basing this new country on. Here are the ideals, Here, here's what we're doing, here's the foundation. So you know, each person, and they just freed themselves from British rule, you know, the, the, the not you know, being captive essentially, taxes and laws and like this, this big force over you that's going like, no, 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 you gotta do things our way. You can't be completely free. You gotta do things the way that we want you to. And as long as you keep us happy, then you can live your life, but you're not completely free. And they just push that off through the revolution. And then they come together and say, okay, well, what are we basing this new community on? Okay, what are our ideals? And of course they put into the constitution that you know each individual is granted from our creator the freedom to pursue life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Life, to be alive. Liberty means to carry on your way without being impeded by something else that's, that's, that's has an intention of stopping you. You know, as you go along, like if you're walking on a trail and a tree that's fallen down in the way, like you recognize, okay, that tree was here first and it's bigger than me. And that's an obstacle. And I'm gonna, if I want to keep going, I'm going to have to overcome that. Okay. But imagine like a person coming as you're walking out of the trail, a person trying to block you. No, no, you can't go that way because they want to protect what's on the other side. Maybe there's gold that they don't want you to have, or there's nice land that they don't want you to have, or for whatever, whatever their motive is. But that blocking of your freedom for their own benefit, limiting you and restricting your freedom, that's, you know, liberty is the idea of being free in that way, of having the liberty to flow where you want to flow without being impeded by somebody else's 
restricting interests over your life. And the pursuit of happiness, of course, that's what we all want. We all just want to be happy. It's that simple. You know, people make life really complicated. All these books and all these, all this talking and politics gets so convoluted. Everything gets so convoluted. But every, at the end of the day, people just want to be happy. They want to hang out with the people that they like and have laughs, listen to good music, and feel good. And so that pursuit of happiness, you know, that each person has the freedom to pursue happiness. The beautiful thing is that when we have complete freedom, happiness is the state that's there at the bottom of it. It's the state that's there all along. It's the limiting of our freedom that happens as we grow up in the culture that we've grown up in um, that doesn't give us full permission because there's a lot of fear. Okay, We've all grown up in a culture of fear and it's nobody's fault. It's just the way that it is, but there's just this built-in fear into the human system. It's like, oh, you know, bad things will happen. Like you could die. Everyone's afraid to die. And so then if there's a core fear of death, then there's all these worries. Like, oh, you can't do that because that might lead to a cascade of events that would cause you, you know, to, to die. And we can't have that. Everyone's trying to live as long as they can and eat healthy and do all these things. Okay, but that fear of death, what I found is in finding your own freedom, which comes through being honest about your emotional state and feeling through all the emotions. This is what I talk about in almost all my videos, all my messages. Okay. That is, it's like each person has had, think of like a big thorn, a huge thorn that's been like, as you were growing up and not being seen for who you are, not being loved for just being you and not being, imagine if you were surrounded by people who didn't have a fear of death. It's like, oh yeah, you know, you'll die when you die. And when you do, like life goes on because there's nothing to fear on the other side of death. Like death isn't, isn't, isn't a real thing in the sense that who, who we are really dies. The bodies die. Okay. So imagine if you grew up around those people who are just like, oh, no fear of death. So you just flow freely, just like the animals, you know, if you want to go this way, you go that way. If you want to play, you play. If you want to hang out with that person or spend time with that lover or whatever it is, you just, you just do it because no one's afraid of like, oh, you know, but oh, you can't do that. There's no energy of you can't do that. Imagine what that would be like. Just completely free and where parents can just trust their kids' intuition so the kids can flow freely and do what they want. Of course, parents have intuition too, which is a feeling comes up of like, oh, that doesn't feel right to me. And, and that's what parenting is all about, is tuning into your own intuition, being around these other beings who don't have as much time here. So the, uh, we do have these intuitive knowings that, hey, there's something I know that, you, that my child doesn't know. And because of that knowing, I'm going to alter their direction or their, their choice. And because I'm bigger and because I, I, I'm dad or I'm mom, like I'm going to assert that authority. But otherwise, for the most part, unless that spikes up, I'm going to let my kids be free. Like imagine if you grew up in that, like how different that would be. Okay, but the culture that we grew up in, because there's so much fear that's embedded in humanity, it's like a big thorn has been like put into each person through their, during their upbringing, like very slowly. And by the time they're about seven, eight, nine years old, you notice like kids' demeanor starts to change and that youthfulness, that aliveness that they come out with, that like, ah, this is so bright and, and flowing and loving, it starts to get diminished, you know, around puberty and like, you know, and, and what that is is because the freedom that we come out of the womb with and we're just big and bright eyed, like when we're in a world with so much fear and that fear just starts to kind of get imbibed into who we are, into our thoughts and into our beliefs. It just happens, okay? It's the soil that we've grown up in. It's the water that we are swimming in. Okay? And so in finding your own freedom, it's the process of everything, almost every video that I, everything I talk about is the process of removing that thorn. Okay, it's the existential state. It's like the void. It's kind of like all the seeking energy, all of the like, why are we here? You know, what's wrong? Something's wrong. You know, imagine that. Imagine if, if that were just to be literally true, that there was a thorn that got put in to people that they weren't conscious of and it was really uncomfortable. And so everyone's going around and everyone's like in this chronic pain. And so when you talk to each other, it's like, hmm. And then you know like, ah, oh, something doesn't feel right. I don't like the way I'm treating people when I snap at them or um, you know, when I get defensive, like I don't, that doesn't feel like me. And it's probably true for you. That when you act in ways 
that are hurtful to other people or push other people away or when you snap at people, you know, there's this feeling of like, what the heck is that? Why am I doing that? And people go, you know, and people give you feedback, you know, you're mean or you're, you know, don't that part of you that comes out, I don't like that. And so then you start to realize, like, oh, I'll lose my connection with other people if I continue to let those parts out. And so over time, generally in like the 20s and on into the 30s, like it, it, we kind of go through this process of like pushing those parts of us down and holding back. So it's like, here we are in chronic pain with this existential thorn pushed into us through our childhood upbringing and condition, all this fear. And then we're trying to like push it away and push it away and push it away, but we know that it's there and then we, you know, we don't like ourselves, we don't trust ourselves, sometimes we do things that we don't understand. Okay, so what I talk about is how to find your real freedom and it's, it's, it really is as simple as just like removing that thorn from your heart. And the thorn is just the energetic sensations that every time that you didn't speak your truth throughout your whole existence, every time that your freedom was limited, every time that you were told, nope, you can't do that even if you wanted to, all the times when you were, your liberty was infringed upon, okay, and you didn't know it, no one knew it, it's, it's just innocent, it's the way that it happens, it all gets then kind of knotted up in your heart, and then we do have the same experience as if we had like a literal thorn put in there, and we, we're, we're numb to it. You know, we don't, that, that's one of the coping mechanisms. It's beautiful is that our, hurt, our heart is so tender and so hurt after all of that lack of freedom that we've experienced. That one way that we deal with it is we just numb to it. But yet we're still acting in ways, those parts of you that come up that are like, ah, or, or just the, the hateful parts of ourselves that we all know are there, and that we try to push away, we try to meditate them away, pray them away. Oh, that's not me, that's not me. Well, it really isn't you, and because your natural state is happiness and joy and peace and all virtuous things, okay? But it is you in the sense that it is part of you as long as um, you're in that state, okay? Yeah, so you have the right to your own freedom. It got taken from you and you didn't even know it. Okay, so everyone's like living in this state where it feels like we're free because you know there aren't shackles on us, but we've our full personalities, our true, authentic, childlike selves have been restricted and like we didn't even really know it. It happened like out of our awareness. And so the path back to your own freedom is to first claim your freedom and to say, you know what, I have the right to be myself completely, to live out of my heart. And the way back is not is not fighting back against, that's why everyone's kind of like fighting against something. And the way to true freedom is to not fight back against all of like what we feel is, is repressing us or holding us back, all this fighting energy. What we do is we surrender to it, we die to that energy really by going into our feelings and surrender to the feelings. We surrender to our visceral, somatic, embodied experience, and you have to get unnumb to it first. That's the first, it's, it's almost like, I was gonna say that it's like almost like the hardest part of the process. That's not true. <laughs> because the feelings can be really intense, okay? Once you get into them, it's like, oh shit, you even wonder, like, is, was this a good idea? Is this a good thing that I did this? I know I went through that. I still have days where it's like, oh man, I mean, I don't have days now where I doubt at all, like if I'm on the right path or, you know, is this, uh, what, like what's happening here, but there are uncomfortable days for sure, okay? But getting unnumbed, and I always recommend to people a book by Michael Brown called The Presence Process, and it's a 10-week process that helps you get out of your head and into your feelings, and once you find them and once you're into them, then it's like you don't need the book anymore. You just start to then allow your feelings to guide you and, and dictate to you what's needed, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end there, just because that's what I'm feeling. But the first step there that I'm describing is so important to say, you know what, I deserve to be free, and, and tune in, into the longing. Imagine what it would be like to live completely free, without fearing everything, and without constantly like navigating in fear, but rather than navigating in fear, imagine actually just living like a child, like, following what feels right. Oh, it's a sunny day, I wanna go outside and play, and you go play. Or 
Um, I feel like going to sleep right now and I'm gonna stay in bed the whole day just because that's what feels good. It feels so cozy and relaxing. Like then that's what you do. You know, rather than being dictated by your master, which you know might be work or your, your spouse or all these, you know, these things that we've let through our lives, we let control us and we believe that we're free. But if you really look at it, you're doing all kinds of things that you don't want to do and you justify it. But if you just be honest about it, you say anything that I'm doing that I really don't want to do, I'm, I'm letting that thing control me. And the way through is to go into the heart and feel your way through it. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, and just freedom comes out. Your freedom comes out and it's there. I'm just here. I feel like that's my role. Just to tell you that it's possible and that you can do it. And that it's, it's, it's like, it's all of our birthright. If you want it, it's there for you. Your freedom, your full, authentic, childlike self is waiting to be birthed out of your heart. It's there for all of us. It really is. Okay? And I can say that with excitement, enthusiasm, with no bullshit. And all of your dreams, you know, all the, the fullness of who you are, you know, stronger parts of yourself, more tender parts of yourself. Um more exciting there's just a much broader range of colors for, that you express from because you've you're not limited anymore you're not held back you know you're not constricted you just come alive okay and as each of us comes alive it doesn't mean that anyone else has to be less alive that's the great thing about it you know it's like think of the movie the matrix you know if, if you haven't seen it and I'm guessing that most people have seen it um, Neo is this guy who's living and he's just living a normal life, working at a, what he thinks is a normal job. And then one day, like, he gets this message. I can't even remember exactly how it happens, but he ends up, like, phew, he gets, like, sucked through the, you know, this thing. And then he wakes up and he realizes, like, oh, he's been in this vat with, like, these, you know, these cords connected to his head. And he's just been thinking all these things. Like, this world that he thought, this life that he thought he had wasn't real. So he's like, whoa, I was in the Matrix, okay? And it's a beautiful parallel because that's how I've experienced life. Is like I was living as a, as the, the guy that I was, who was a beautiful guy, so well intentioned. And then as I found my feelings and my heart, you start to go into it, and you go into it more and more and more. And then who comes out of that? You realize like, whoa! In some ways, in many ways, I really was in the matrix. I was doing so many things that I never really questioned why I was doing them, and, and I wasn't living freely. I thought I was free, but we're like in a prison of our own belief system. And that's the beauty as you come alive and come out of that. It's like, whoa, it's a whole new world. And I welcome anyone and everyone who's interested in that to finding your true freedom, to just join, to join in the process, okay? If you want to, if it feels right, if you want to take that red or blue pill, I can never remember which is the one that takes you down the rabbit hole. I know I'm always somebody who's like, you give me a chance to go down the rabbit hole, like I'm going, <laughs> I, I want truth. It's like the movie Vanilla Sky, which is one of my favorites. Like at the end of the movie, well, I won't give it away, but it, it deals with that theme of like, do you want truth? Do you want to live a real life or do you want to live in fantasy land? And hey, you can pick. And it's like, well, I think we all inside of us, that's why it's a theme in so many movies. It's seated in us to desire real truth. And the truth comes out in freedom. Like freedom and truth cannot be, those two words really cannot be pulled apart. Okay, they tend to describe different aspects of our reality and of our experience, but truth and freedom go hand in hand because when something's operating completely free, like that is the truth of its ex experience. Uh, it's like imagine a, an animal in a cage, like is, is, is that ring of truth? When that animal's set free and now it can just be who it is, go where it goes, do what its instincts tell it to do. Now there's just like this knowing of like there's truth in that because that's its free state. So freedom and truth. And human beings, we don't realize it, but um, you know, we've, we're not free until we are. And it's great. Either way is fine, you know, it's no big deal. But what do you want? Truth? Because it's there to be found. It's there to be felt. Your freedom is there to be experienced. All right, Ryan Swain, he's signing out. Love you, as always. Have a good night.